Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How can I add layers and place marks to a GIS map? To add layers to a GIS map, you first need to access the mapping interface. For example, in ArcGIS Online, you start by signing into the site and opening the Map Viewer Classic. Here, you can click the Null Add Null button to begin the process. Searching and adding layers, you can search for existing layers from various sources, such as your content, favorites, groups you belong to, or the organization you are part of. You can also browse layers from the ArcGIS Living Atlas or purchase data layers through the ArcGIS Marketplace. To add a layer, simply click the Null Add Null button on the layer result after selecting it. Importing layers. If you have external data, you can import layers from files. For instance, you can load shape files into Google Earth Pro by selecting Import from the File menu and choosing the shape file. This data will then be converted to KML format and appear in Google Earth under the Places panel. Adding place marks. To add place marks, you need to define specific geographic locations on your map. In Google Earth, you can create place marks by clicking the Add Place Mark button in the toolbar. You can either drag the place mark to the desired location or specify the coordinates of latitude and longitude. You will then be prompted to name your place mark and possibly change its color and style. Organizing place marks. You can organize your place marks by grouping them into layers. In Google Earth, go to Add in the menu bar, navigate to Layer, and then drag your place marks into the layer. This helps in managing multiple place marks efficiently. Managing place marks. For more advanced management of placemarks, you can use a placemark manager. In some GIS software, selecting Placemarks, Placemarks Manager from the menu bar opens a dialog where you can import, export, rename, or delete placemarks. You can also update the definition of a placemark by selecting it, updating its location, scale, or rotation in the view, and then clicking the Update Placemark button. Exporting and importing placemarks. Placemarks can be exported to a JSON file or KML file for later use. In the Placemark Manager, select File, Export Placemarks to save the placemarks to a file. To restore saved placemarks, select File, Import Placemarks and choose the JSON or KML file containing the placemarks. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.